Do you want to know one reason why Roger Feder is so amazing in the transition area of the court? It's because he knows how to move forward and approach off his forehand side using the proper footwork. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. So excited to help you get better, to help you get better faster. And in today's video, we're focusing on the transition area of the court. This is the part of the court that most players are not spending enough time in. And I want you to understand what to do in this part of the court. And I'm seeing a big problem with players that are getting forehands, even backhands, but we're going to focus on the forehands. They're getting forehands in this part of the court and they're flubbing the approach shot. And they don't have the answer, they don't have the solution. And what we're going to focus on today is the Roger Federer lift and land or front foot hop footwork pattern. Now, the biggest issue that I see with players coming in on this is they come in, they step in on their front foot. And obviously it depends on the level that you're at. But they come in and they swing and they just step through like this. This causes a number of issues. By coming up and stepping through like this, there's a tendency for players to over rotate and pull off the ball. Okay? There's also a tendency to run into the ball and get too close to it when you step through like this. And I see it a lot. Also, when you come up and if you don't hop, if you just step in and step through, you actually have to slow your momentum down to get set before you come through. There's a reason Roger Federer and other pros use the front foot hop, or what I call the lift and land. Now, we know the lift and land is efficient. We know that it works. Federer and others have been doing it for years. But what happens is when players go out on the court and they try to use this footwork pattern, they do it inefficiently. There's something they're missing. How do I know this? Because when I get on the court, even with high level players, I see them make this mistake. So imagine if you're a high level division one college player and you're still doing this movement inefficiently, what happens if you're not at that level? What happens if you're a three five, a four zero, a four five, and you're not a college level player? I guarantee you, you're making this mistake. So I want to teach you, I want to show you, I want to give you a, a blueprint here. So on the lift and land, when you come up, you're going to, first of all, you're going to come up, you're going to get on your front foot. And when you swing, you're going to hop afterwards. Now, I'm going to break this down in more detail, but essentially you're approaching the ball. You're going to swing, you're going to hop, and then you're going to come forward. Going nice and slow for you right here. A lot of players have a hard time just getting this movement down. So my recommendation to you is to come out with a bucket of balls, stand right here, get on your front foot, feel your front, your, your front leg bend, swing and hop. And that's it. And record it. And then compare it to this video. See what it looks like. Now, what are you noticing about when I'm hopping? And I'm exaggerating it. Am I hopping before the hit or after the hit? These are the subtle details that I want to point out to you that are being missed out there. When am I hopping? Now I'm exaggerating. You can probably see that I'm hopping after the hit. I see so many players thinking they're doing the front foot hop, like Roger Federer, the lift and land. And what they're doing is they're hopping at the same time. It looks kind of awkward. It probably feels awkward to you. You're like, wait a minute, how does Federer make this work? This feels so unnatural. They're hopping as they hit. Even when I do it, I can actually picture some of my students hopping or lifting as they hit the ball. They might even be hopping before they swing. Okay? That is the big problem right there. If you're enjoying this footwork lesson, you're going to love the Transition Footwork Secrets. This course is my flagship program to help you transition from the baseline to the net and learn how to attack your opponent so you can win more matches. And all you have to do is click the link below this video to get started. 
I know it took me a couple minutes to get there, but I wanted to set the tone, set the stage, provide a framework for you on this. So what you want to practice doing is you can even shadow this. Notice how my knee is bent. And this really helped with one of my students. Pretend, feel that your knee is bent. And when you swing, after you finish the swing is when you're allowed to hop and when you're allowed to straighten. So your knee must be bent as you swing, then you can hop. Say it again, your knee must be bent as you make contact and then you hop. And that's all you have to practice. Don't try to rush it. Don't try to do it in a match yet. Just come out, swing, hop. Watch and say it, say it out loud. You're gonna go, you're gonna, obviously you're on your front foot and you're gonna say swing, hop. And you might, if you've been struggling with this, you might actually say swing, hop, but you might actually be hopping and swinging at the same time or hopping before you swing. If you can get this rhythm down, you can learn how to approach like Roger Federer. Isn't that exciting? Now the next thing that I want you to consider is once you get this down, when you finish, when you hop, I want you to see, look how my back leg is bent. Okay, back leg is bent. When you land like this, you're going to take a big step through. See what I just did there? You're gonna hop, this leg bends, step through. I'll do it a little bit faster. Bend, step through. So the reason why this is better than just standing and stepping through is notice the push I get when I land. When I land on this foot right here, now I'm able to push and get a bigger drive forward. That's how I can cover the net. That's what you see Federer and others doing. So if I'm all the way back here, I can get to right here from the baseline with one hop and a big lunge step. Most of you, when you do this, are going to hop and then take a little step. You're gonna hop and take a little step. You need to hop and take a bigger step. But first, like I said before, get this part down. Swing and then hop, and then you can stop. Swing, hop. Then you can take a bigger step. Then you can take a bigger step and you get ready for your split step and you come forward. Tennis is a dance and many players are just out here winging it, wondering why they're not getting better. You have to start to improve how you move around the court, especially in this transition area. You have to understand that tennis is a dance, especially in this part of the court. And, and you're not spending enough time here. I know this because I see people warming up at the baseline and then they come and they take their volleys, but they never work on their approach game. And if you don't have anyone to play with, guess what? Look what I'm doing right now in this lesson. I am working on my skills with a hopper of balls, with a camera, and I'm tossing balls to myself. And you can practice that. And you could send videos in to me and we can help you figure this out. We can help you get to the next level. Look at tennis as a dance. Look at tennis as a series of progressions. You must improve in this area of the court. You must improve the Roger Federer lift and land footwork pattern. Now the last thing that I wanna mention about this is that when you're doing this and when you're lifting after the hit, there's a tendency to lift the head and the chest. So what you really wanna practice doing is when you hop, you wanna keep your chest down and soft, I call it chest soft, so it's almost like you feel your chest go in a little bit. You don't wanna puff it out like a big strong dude, okay? You don't wanna do that here. You wanna draw your chest in, keep it soft, and keep your head quiet and your head down. So my head stays here, and then I look up quietly. I look up quietly. A lot of you are lifting, and you're, you're picking your chin up, and you're lifting your chest, and that's throwing you off. Just one bonus tip for you today. Let's get the, the lift and land down. Let's get the timing of the hop down. Don't straighten too fast. Make sure that knee is bent and then it straightens after the hit. Take that big step afterwards once you get that down and make sure you keep your head and your chest quiet when you're hopping off the ground. I hope you enjoyed this lift and land Roger Federer video. We wanna help you with your transition game. We want to help you with your footwork and your forehand, your backhand, your serve, and you can do that by clicking the link below or somewhere in this video. I've got a free gift for you, absolutely free, no credit card required, no obligation. Just get these lessons and start watching them in our online portal and more importantly, 
in the Tennis Evolution app. This app is absolutely amazing because you can take it out on the court with you, can help you take your tennis to the next level. I'm here for you. I want to help you get to the next level. Thanks for your time today. This is Jeff Salzenstein. We'll see you at the next one.